In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a big clock on the MacBook screensaver. We've all seen it across the internet and it looks pretty cool and I'll show you how to do it for free. First thing you want to do is come over to your web browser and search on Google for Flicklow. I will have a link in the description for this website to make it much easier for you. If you greet you with this website, you may get some adverts like this. But you simply click on the screen and it will go away. You want to scroll to the bottom and you want this one here on the left for the Mac. And if you're on Windows, you want the one on the right. You want to then click download. You will get a pop-up message saying that things can be unsafe on the internet. That's up to you if you want to download it. I'll quickly download to your downloads. As it says here in the top, so now we can X the window away. And we'll come over to the downloads folder. And from here, you want to double click the Flicklow DMG file. And we greeted with a list of files here, as you can see. But you want to double click on the saver. It will ask you do you want to install it on this user only or all the users on the computer. I select this user only. You then simply click install. It will quickly install and automatically take you to the desktop and screen savers. And on the left hand side, you want to scroll down to the bottom and then click the Flicklow screen saver. You have an option to show a clock. I prefer it without. And you can select the preview and you can see a preview of the screensaver. Some people do complain that the screensaver doesn't come on, but you first want to check here on the top of the screensaver page and change it for 20 minutes to one minute or whichever you prefer. You then can X that away because your screensaver is saved. And then that, you can also delete the DMG file. And you want to drag this over to the bin and then you will successfully have added a big clock on the MacBook screensaver. I hope that video was helpful, and if it was, please hit the like button below and check out this next video for another quick Mac tip. And thank you for watching.